Hello and welcome to another installment of Kerbal Space Program. Here you have my attempt, admittedly not a perfect attempt, <laughs> to create a rocket that more or less resembles the Saturn V. Um, this was built with parts using the this was built using parts from the KW rocketry add-on. Um, most of what you see here is from that. And um, this particular engine down here makes what I think is the absolute best sound of anything that I've ever seen in this game, as I shall now demonstrate. Try to make this so that when I get up here a bit, fire off the second stage. When the second stage runs out, I'll be more or less in orbit. That actually sounds pretty cool too. That engine. I don't know why it keeps kicking me off the center line, though. If you look down here. Okay. Turn that back on. I'm going to bring this over now. I have this thing target the prograde. <laughs> look at this. It's going kind of wild. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn that back over there like that. I'm going to go ahead and, and flatten out, flatten out my trajectory here. The idea here is I don't want to be too high when the engine cuts out, but I think I'm already going to be a lot higher than I want to be. I'm already in or in space, but the Saturn V does not relight the second stage. So basically this rocket's overpowered <laughs> compared to the Saturn V in the context of launching from Kerbal. I'm hoping that the uh, the real solar system update gets uh, updated to support uh, KSB 1.0. Circularize our orbit here. Oh, we are going to see we're just we're just going way out here. All right, we've already hit escape trajectory from Kerbin, so obviously I need to load this thing up with some more weight if I'm going to actually turn this into some into an actual moon rocket that is analogous to the actual Saturn V, because right now it's just too light. You know, the third stage is putting me on a trajectory that's going to put me into a heliocentric orbit. Although I should have actually turned it off. That's okay though. Turn this around. We've got these adapters here. I'm actually going to slow this thing down and bring it back into the atmosphere. I think I have enough delta V to do it. throttle up to full. Basically just keep pointing at the retrograde direction. <laughs> Look at it. Well, 
turn that off and just it's uh, coming back in I'll see if I can bring it all the way back in and actually bring it back into the atmosphere and recover it Continually recalculating the orbit here. There we go. How much fuel we got left? Eh, we got quite a bit. Let's see if we've got enough. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're definitely going to re enter. I'm going to slow this thing down as much as possible. Point it directly at retrograde again. And out of gas. But that's enough. And we'll just eject that. And uh, we're going to do some time warp here. Bye-bye. our Apogee here. There we go. Apoapsis. And we're going to come down in a big hurry. Once we get down below 100,000 here, it'll kick us into a slower... There we go. Okay, turn that off. Oh, that's still up there. It's going to be coming down in a hurry, though. Alright, doing about 2,700... Almost 2,800 meters per second here. G-force is climbing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. too far away from me and it removed it. Okay. Coming down. Come down to about 200 meters per second. Pop the chute. up a bit here. Yes, yes, I know. Don't use it with big ships. Or they'll explode. And there we go. Recover vessel. Anyway, that is, uh, like I said, my attempt at creating something that's more or less like a Saturn V. Um, 
obviously it needs work if I'm going to make it truly analogous. For example, I would need to uh, actually have a lander, um, and specifically a lander that was stored inside that you would uh, detach the uh, command module and then spin it around and attach to the lander and then release the third stage after that. So that's something to work on. There is a there is a part in uh, KW Rocketry which uh, appears to be for that purpose that would attach the uh, the third stage to the command module. Um, it, I haven't yet figured out how to make it work though, uh, but uh, maybe I'll try it and uh, make a video of it. Uh, although I'm sure that somebody else has already done that. Anyway, uh, if you uh, have watched to this point, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.